This is our 10th uh, video tutorial for our Coder Island JavaScript series and this is ready to wheel with you. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to talk about pop-up boxes you know those uh, things that pop up whenever you're visiting a browser or something like that well in this tutorial you're gonna learn how to do that especially those ones that they're <laughs> making you get angry when you visit the website with advertising and whatever well this is how you're gonna do it so you have three types of uh, uh, pop-up boxes we have the alert box and we have the confirm box and we have the a prompt box so we're gonna start with the alert box basically the syntax is so easy and so small so it goes like this alert message uh, we're gonna say hi Ray and we're gonna include a semicolon and we're gonna hit F12 and check that on the browser see it's basically so easy and we're gonna go back to Dreamweaver since we covered the alert box we're gonna go for the confirm box the confirm box returns two values either true or false so confirm uh, are you sure you want to quit for example and we're gonna run that to the browser and we're gonna see that it has two options are you sure you want to quit? Okay, cancel. Yeah. In the later on in these tutorials, we can see how to trigger events based on a certain input. So we're gonna keep that in mind. And I want to keep these for later, so you can check them out on the website. And the final one, which is the prompt box. So the syntax goes like this, prompt, um, message, and this is the title. Then you have to put a column, and the default value is, let's say, yes. And we're going to run that to the browser, message, and it has a default value. For example, if you want to take a certain input from the user, uh, for example, what's your name? Uh, well, let's say my name is Ray and I say okay then I on that event I display that on the browser hi Ray for example that's kind of going to be useful in the future we're gonna use that in JavaScript events and I hope you benefited from this tutorial please uh, subscribe to the channel if you got any questions please uh, you can post them on the forums and we'll be very happy to help you and thank you